the 21st of November 1974, Irish Republican terror came to Birmingham's door. Two busy pubs in town were where their bombs were aimed. 21 people murdered, survivors shocked and maimed. Thirty years have passed, but we will always remember the sorrow felt in Birmingham on that dark day in November. The left wing and the Liberals made excuses for the bombs. They marched for the Birmingham Six, but not for the dead 21. Sinn Féin in their ballot boxes screamed for civil rights whilst killing British citizens with bombs and armour lights. Thirty years have passed, but we will always remember the sorrow felt in Birmingham on that dark day in November. And now we have a process that promises us peace. No RUC, no UDR, just Provo's on release. If history taught us anything, it's always to remember. So we mark the anniversary of that dark day in November. Thirty years have passed, but we will always remember the sorrow felt in Birmingham on that dark day in November. Jane Davies. 17. Desmond Riley, age 20. Eugene Riley, age 23. Maureen Roberts, age 20. Marilyn Nash, age 22. Pamela Palmer, age 19. Stephen Whaley, age 21. Lynn Bennett, aged 18. Anne Hayes, age 19. Michael Beersley, age 30. Maxine Hambleton, aged 18. John Jones, age 51. Charles Gray, age 44. John Rowland, age 46. Stanley Bodman, age 51. Trevor Thrupp, age 33. James Caddy, age 40. Paul Davies, age 20. Neil March, age 20. Thomas Chater, age 28. James Craig, age 34. Thirty years have passed, but we will always remember. The sorrow felt in Birmingham on that dark day in November.